Hi there, Thunkers, and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to discuss a navigator that has recently been added to the drag and drop interface, the Stack Navigator. This is a navigator that allows the user to navigate back through each screen they visited. Let's get started. To add a Stack Navigator to our project, let's click this plus icon, click Add Navigator, and select the Stack Navigator. And we can delete screen 1 here, we won't need it at all. The screens in the Stack Navigator are named Home, About, Contact and Setting. On the Home screen, I'm going to add a button to navigate to About, one to navigate to Contact, and one to navigate to Setting. So you can see that my buttons are named Home to About, Home to Contact and Home to Setting. And they say About, Contact and Setting, respectively. In my blocks, I will say that when I click home to about, I'll navigate to about. When I click home to contact, I'll navigate to contact. And when I click home to setting, I'll navigate to setting. Back in the design tab, I'm going to color the background color of my home screen red. And now I'm quickly going to add the same buttons and different background colors to all the screens in this project. Okay, I just cut that, but you can see that now I have four screens. They're each a different color, and each screen contains buttons. I can navigate to all of the other screens in this project. Now we're ready to test out this project and demonstrate how the Stack Navigator works. So of course we start with Home, and when we click About, now our title card says About. And when we click Contact, now it says Contact. And when we click Setting, now it says Setting. We can click this back arrow to navigate back through the screens we've looked at. So we can go back to Setting, Contact, About, and back to Home. And that's how the Stack Navigator works in a Thunkable project. There will be a link to this project in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and as ever, thanks for thunking.